you know, what's the state of, of the regulatory apparatus in the United States, at least, with regard to digital finance or, what, or blockchain specific financial services yeah. and, and how that's evolving? It's a broad topic. So I feel comfortable that most of the regulatory construct of the world that I operate in is existing. So mm-hmm. again, right, regulated financial services and there are various SEC rules that govern the sale of securities and the SEC generally doesn't opine on the technology used to ledger those securities. So mm-hmm. some of the more popular offering regulatory constructs are Regulation D for private assets or Regulation A plus for a crowdsourcing asset or S1 for a public IPO. All those regulations exist and we are working with firms that are operating that construct. Where, and, and that's all real world asset stuff. Where the regulations haven't caught up is, you know, for instance, how do you treat the blockchain protocols themselves. So how do you treat Bitcoin? How do you treat Ethereum? How do you treat Providence blockchain? We're happy to register as a security if we could register as a security, but the construct of the way blockchain operates doesn't necessarily allow that because, for instance, all proof of work, sorry, proof of stake blockchains use a token to compensate validators for performing the work. Again, the foundation doesn't manage all those validator networks, the 50 or 100 or 2,000 validator networks. Those are independently run in an open source manner by people or entities literally all around the world. And they get compensated for maintaining the software and the energy it takes to run the computers by the token that is native to the protocol. So our native protocol token is called Hash. And Mm -hmm. if you have a validator and you're in France and you perform a transaction, we will automatically get hash as compensation for your transaction. And you can sell that hash to or for cash in order to pay some of your expenses, or you could continue to hold it and hope that at some point you can, yeah, it'll go up or you could use it. That's why they exist. But the protocol can't pay you in securities if our underlying token is now a registered SEC entity. If that's our shares, not legal to pay third parties in securities unless the third party is a broker dealer. So the validator in France isn't going to become a U.S. broker dealer just so we can pay them in securities. Right, I'm totally right, right. <laughs> no, but hey, but I, I do understand why you're explaining. There's some complications and in, in terms of the classification that it would. You're right. Just like. So, yeah, Google just, paying the, the lawn care people that cut the lawn or something, they're not going to pay them shares of stock. Like that just, that would be weird. It's illegal. So, right? Yeah, it's illegal to do yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah. Would they, right. You, you would have to hire a brokerage that also did double duty as a lawn yeah. care. Well, yeah. the lawn care guy <laughs> would have to be a broker dealer. Right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> and it's just, you know, we welcome, yeah, a construct, but there is mm-hmm. one. And then, okay. So, on the crypto, I'll just to finish the question, onto the crypto side, mm-hmm. the, yeah, the regulations are also pretty clear. Yeah, there's national regulation at a national market. So you, you can register as a national exchange. You can register as an ETS, an alternative trading system. But then is, you know, are crypto, are they securities or are they commodities? The CFTC and the SEC need to come to some kind of an agreement or, or come mm-hmm. to a structure. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if we're talking now, strictly narrowing the focus side for securities that are traded on, on the blockchain, in terms of the regulation of that, again, you talk about the U.S., do you see any major changes coming in that over the next five years, say, or do you think that that's they pretty much settled down as far as, far as getting their framework down? Hard to say. I, I hear views all over the place. We'll get a quick resolution before the elections to nothing will happen until after the elections. There's a, there's a ton of opinion. There's no fact. It's Congress. Congress doesn't act you know, quickly, mm-hmm. or particularly in this environment. So I'm not, I'm not holding up my breath. We're, we're, you know, we at Providence, we, we try to do things the right way. We try to be, you know, what's called a good control location, which is a, a custody term, which is a, you know, trust us with your financial assets because we will protect them kind of uh, construct. We act more like a custodian bank than we do a cryptocurrency platform. Hey, everybody. This is Bob Murphy. Thanks for listening to this clip from the Infi podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, please consider subscribing and share this video with others. We've got new episodes dropping every Friday. 
with more insightful discussions. Stay tuned.